in the same direction. And when electrons all go in the same direction, that's what we call electricity, isn't it? So if we do some kinetic or shaky shaky energy to the magnet, we should make enough electricity to power the little LED in the end. Let's have a go. It's a science experiment. Is it working? Hey, look at that! You see? Not magic! Science! Now, here's a good trick too. If you've got your own energy, or battery, you see, and you have some more magnets, these are called medium, medium magnets. Very, very powerful. It's like a great big shiny octopus going over your shoulder, sir, isn't it? <laughs> now, if we put these magnets here, and we put a fuel cell or battery on top, like so, I've got a bit of copper wire here that I bent so that it touches the top of the battery and it touches the magnets on the bottom. Now, what will happen is all the little electrons or electricity will come shooting out the top of the battery and go into the copper wire. And what happens is that creates a magnetic field which is different than the magnetic field in the magnets. So what do you think will happen? <coughs> Who knows? It's a science experiment, isn't it? Let's find out. What's that? The world's most simple electric motor. <laughs> Not magic. Science. You see? These are all things you can do at home. Now, I know what you're thinking. In the back, they're thinking, well, we know all this, Professor. We're children a bit more advanced in years, and we've seen all this before. Can't you do something a bit more dangerous? <laughs> you're thinking? Aren't you? <laughs> yeah, you're thinking, because you're a man of science, you see. What science is a bit of danger? Well, of course we can be more dangerous, you see. We still use steam today to make electricity. But we use fuels like coal and oil to make the heat, to make the steam, to turn the thing that makes electricity. Now some scientists a few years ago discovered that these little tiny, tiny things called atoms of which electrons are part of. If you get an atom and you bash it really hard down to its nucleus or middle, then it creates a very a large amount of heat and light energy. It's called nuclear power, and it's quite dangerous. But I thought, since we're in a little flappy tent full of straw, <laughs> wouldn't it be fun if we made a small and small nuclear explosion? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah! <laughs> Wait! So, Ivana has been around the Eden Project today looking for atoms. And it's quite good this time of year for atoms. And you see, how many have you got in there? Six. Six atoms, you see. Now, we only put one atom on this anvil. We tried it with two yesterday, and that's why we're in a tent today. <laughs> so, Ivana's going to very carefully put an atom on this anvil, and I'm going to use a machine that in science terms we call a kinetic acceleration implementation device. <laughs> and it looks like this. <laughs> you see? And what we're going to do, we're going to put the atom on here very carefully, and I shall take it really on the head and release a little bit of heat and light and energy. Now I'm talking very quietly because I don't want to breathe on the atom because when they roll off onto the floor they're very difficult to find. <laughs> now, obviously nuclear science isn't to be trifled with so I'm going to put on some very complicated PPE or protective 
paraphernalia equipment. <laughs> I think you better put some goggles on. Yeah. Now, before we start, is everybody happy? <laughs> yeah. And more importantly, is everybody insured? <laughs> no. I heard a yes. <laughs> right. So here we go, Ivana. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. Right. Mm -hmm. a, bit, a bit scary. <laughs> okay, after three. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Nuclear power. You see? Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know, actually, nuclear power isn't all fun and games, you see. It does create some very harmful byproducts called radiation, which is very, very harmful for all living things and remain dangerous for thousands and thousands of years. So, it's getting safer, I'm sure, but it's still not the best way, surely, that we can make energy to power our lives in the future. We should use our hearts and our minds and think of more greener and sustainable ways to power lives in the future. Maybe we can use the waves. Maybe we can use the sun. Maybe we can use the monde. It's up to you, you see, and you, 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 because in a few years time, when you're grown up, and maybe scientists yourselves, it's going to be you that makes these decisions to make the world a happier and better place to live in. Isn't it? Well, thanks for listening to the old fools like us. You've been wonderful, and we've actually been rather smart, haven't we? We <laughs> want to go and see the foot foot bank, we'll fire up again. But until next time, enjoy your day in Eden, and have a very happy Easter. Bye bye! <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.